I'm Dean Safola, and this is the Azure Academy. Today, we're continuing with our connectivity options with the Point to Site VPN. So let's jump right into the Azure portal and take a look at what we've got. So in our last session, we built ourselves a virtual network gateway, and that required a public IP address, and these resources are finished building. And we set it up as a route-based VPN gateway, so we're not talking about uh, ExpressRoute at this time. So let's look at our configuration. So we picked our VNet Gateway 1 SKU, and we could change that here. And we could enable that active active mode here, or BGP. And then we have our point to site configuration. So we're going to click Configure Now. And what we need to set up is a IP address space that we'll be using from our uh, remote systems to connect and that'll be 192.168.166.0/24 and then we have the type of tunnel that we're going to establish now this could be an Ike tunnel or an SSL or both doesn't really matter and we'll leave this as an Azure certificate and then we have to provide the root certificate name and a public uh, key so let's see this is the Azure root certificate. So where do we get a certificate from? Well, you can get it from a online certificate authority or from your own private certificate authority, or you can create a self-signed certificate, which is what a lot of people who use point to site VPNs do. So how do we create a self-signed certificate? Well, there's a couple ways. There's uh, using PowerShell. There's a utility called Make Cert that you can use. Um, other cert util functions that are in uh, Windows or Linux or Mac. Um, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to do this in PowerShell. So I've written a PowerShell script here, and I've got it broken up into different sections so that you can see what's going on. And uh, basically, this section will create our root certificate, and uh, this one our client certificate. And then we export those, and then we're going to enable them to be used uh, for our site-to-site -site VPN. So I will just run this entire script. And this is the bit of information that we need to complete our configuration. This is our public key for our root cert. And let's go back to Azure. We'll paste this in here. And then we hit save. Now, while that is going on, the other piece that we need to do is get our client cert. And for that, uh, we're going to have to export that cert. So let's look at this a different way. Let's go to our MMC in Windows. And we will add a snap in for our certificates. And we want our uh, personal certificate store since that's where I created it. And there's our root cert. So we'll do an export on this. And we do want to have our private key, since this is our client cert. And these default options are just fine. And then we'll give this a password. And this can be as uh, complex as you want, although it's generally recommended to make a long, complex password. And I'm choosing here SHA-256 because that's what I uh, created the root and the client as originally. And we'll store this in our drive client.pfx and our export is successful and if we look over there now we've got that so the way you install a uh, certificate is you double click on the certificate and you choose what store this is going to go in this is going to go in my personal store and it's telling you that's the certificate you give it the password and uh, these options are just fine the way they are. And then you can choose to allow the system to put it where it wants, or you can place it uh, somewhere directly. And I'll just leave it as automatic. And it's just verifying that this cert is tied to this root cert. And we want to say yes to that. So we'll close this. And we don't need our MMC anymore. And our VNet configuration is still updating. That should be done in another few seconds. 
Okay, so our configuration has updated. And now we've got our root cert here, and we've got our IP pool, so we're ready to download our VPN client. So like any other uh, client that you probably used on a remote uh, working laptop or desktop, is you have a network connection that's on the local system and you know so you're already on your Wi-Fi or already on your local LAN and then you have to click on this VPN client and connect that and either enter a password or a pin or something like that but in our case since it's bound with a certificate we don't have to do that we just have to hit connect so we'll download our VPN package and this is going to create a customized VPN uh, kit for us based on our certificate. And it takes a, a minute or so to generate that because it is custom for you and for your gateway setup. So I'm going to save this onto our desktop. All right. So this gives us uh, for Windows a 64-bit and a 32-bit executable. And so what we'll do here is we'll copy this to our temp drive. And then we'll unblock the file and then run this as administrator. And it's asking if we want to set up our VPN client for this VNet. And yes, we do. OK, and once that's done, you can click under your connectivity options. And it should show you here that you have a VPN client, which I'm going to hit connect and then it gives you this warning that it'll be updating your routing table and that is okay and that's it we are connected point to site so how can we verify this so let's open a command prompt and if we type IP config we see that we have an IP address in the range that we specified so we are connected to Azure on a point to site VPN in our next video, we'll look at a site-to-site -site connection.